Welcome to the Wireless Zone on the ST stand at Embedded Worlds. Now, a couple of years ago at this very same event, we were talking about the launch of the ST60. Since then, it's been a huge success story, but up until now, it's only been available to the industry big guns. That's all about to change, however, and Rene can tell us more. Rene. Hi, Chris. Great news indeed. Actually, the ST60 had been a huge success um, in the OEM market, or the big guns, like you like to call them. And now we've decided to bring it into the mass market. It's actually adding uh, wireless, low power communication to a lot of uh, products. It's like opening the gates uh, to a lot of new possibilities. It's incredibly exciting, but I suppose developers will be wondering why now? You know, um, 60 gigahertz design, and especially if you consider the antenna, it's quite challenging. So actually we made this much easier now by integrating the antenna into the system in package, which is just twice the size of the standard IC. It's measuring tiny three by four millimeter. And on top of this, we also added a eUSB 2 interface with 480 megabit per second, which is very common on the newest microcontrollers. So it's really a wireless high speed lane for your data. So uh, will I need the latest generation of microcontrollers to take advantage of this? No, not at all, Chris. Actually, on our X-Nucleo 60K1 A1, we implemented a USB 2 repeater IC, which basically gives you a standard USB 2 interface. On top of this, we also have I2C and UART interfaces, but basically, if you take this together, it enables you like uh, wireless firmware updates in factories, or you can uh, do waterproof uh, docking stations based on USB 2. So actually, it's a great way to update your existing design without touching too much, because you just need to place one tiny IC. Why don't you talk us through the board then? My pleasure, Chris. So let's go here. What we are seeing is actually two sets of the boards. On the first set, we are streaming in from the camera, so the video goes in here. Then we have this uh, wireless transfer of the USB data going to the other board, and then it exits to the PC where we are seeing uh, the video stream right now. If I break the stream with this metal sheet, it's actually like plugging and unplugging the camera. You will see that the stream stops. And after a while, um, it automatically reconnects, like we are seeing now, because as soon as the chips are above each other, they don't need any setup, so they really start communicating immediately. And you were saying it's really, really tiny. Exactly, Chris. If you look at the board, it's just measuring three by four millimeter, and you can barely see it. And this is the only thing you need to add on your existing design, and you're done. Okay, big $64,000 question. How can developers find out more? That's also easy. You just go to st.com slash st60 and you will find all the resources and development tools you need to kickstart your design. I think it's going to be a really interesting year for developers to hear some of those ST60 stories. I'm excited as well. Thanks, Chris, for dropping by. See you the next time. Always ready. Thank you.